Jared Poland. Fro knows photo. Dot com here with another raw file edit of the week, and this is week 14. So Jonathan Vale sent in this photo, and it looks like it's going to be a really cool portrait to edit, and you guys should have a lot of fun editing this photo. So I just put it into Lightroom, and now I want to see what we have. Um, let's see how it's shot. So it's shot with a Nikon D90, shot at 1 320th of a second, f 2.8, ISO 400, 90 millimeters with a 90 millimeter f 2.8 now i'm thinking that would be a tamron or a sigma 90 millimeter because nikon from what i know doesn't make a 92.8 this is interesting could it be something other than a night i don't know but maybe jonathan you can send us in what you shot this with so we can know so let's uh zoom in here and check the focus 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 and it's not going to focus look at that all right we have an issue here it is sharp here on the rocks but it is not sharp here on the eyes so what happened here um from a distance it looks fine but it's not sharp on the eyes or the face somehow it it missed the focus missed um, I would like to talk to Jonathan about this, but, you know, obviously he's not on the line. We're going to continue to edit, edit it and see what we can do. But unfortunately, when a shot is this, you know, when you can see that it's not sharp, in my mind, if I was to shoot it, I would have to redo it, or then I just wouldn't put it out there because it, it isn't sharp. But unfortunately, he missed the focus, he may not have missed, or he recomposed, or she moved, or something happened, or the focus slipped. We're going to need to find out more. But anyway, let's keep editing this like it was a really uber-duber sharp image and see what we could come up with. So, should we leave it in color? I mean, it's a really, really golden color. It's probably taken sometime in the afternoon, right before sunset. Um, really, really nice color. But let's see what the black and white can offer here. Hello. Boom. Yeah, I know. I went a little too boom again. We can use this mid levels. The clarity would probably help a little bit. It's not going to make it sharp by any stretch of the imagination because you're not going to be able to fix the fact that it's slightly out. But let's see what we can we can continue to do here. We can always play with the white balance. As you can see that the white balance does control some of your black and white file. So I'm going to go about here. I, I don't mind that it's technically blown out a little bit in the face. I can still see detail there. Really nice lighting, by the way. Look how nice and soft the lighting is on her face coming across that way. What if we went this way and pulled back on the clarity and made it glowy instead of sharp? I don't know. I mean, that's, that's one way you could mask the fact that it's slightly out, but then it just... Ah, it just masks the fact that it's slightly out. So I'm gonna I'm gonna still go ahead and bump my clarity up. I like the black and white, even though the color was really nice and gold. I just wanted to, I don't know, go black and white. I mean, it's just, she's a really cute model. Uh, it's a really cool photo. I like the positioning. I like the framing. I like that there's still room to work with. Uh, if it was going to be used in editorial and things like that, just unfortunately it's not sharp. And when images aren't sharp, uh, tack on, they sometimes aren't going to be very useful. Uh, so let's look at the hand area. I mean, the hands are a little sharper right here on the right here on the dress on this flower. You can see that's where it's sharp. So somehow it 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 missed. I don't know. We'll have to find out more. But this is how I'm going to continue to edit this. Let's pop up the blacks a little bit. Let's make them a little thicker. There we go. That's what I like. I mean, the color is really nice. The color is nice. I want to work that too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here with the black and white. I'm going to leave it at this. And let me uh, duplicate this bad boy or bad girl, whatever we want to call it. And we're going to reset and let's see what color would do, what we could do here. I mean, it's really thick color. It's thick gold, thick and gold. Let's pull back a little bit on the white balance. Not too much. Not too. There. I, I want to leave a little bit more in there. Yeah, contrast. You know me in contrast. Hello. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Better white balance. More clarity. She's still a little on the yellow side. 
Nah, but I don't want to go too blue. Let's leave it a little warm, but not too warm as where it started, because now it just looks really, really nice. You can see the blue of the shadow, but there's still yellow in her face. Black levels, black levels, a little bit. Less boom, more boom, less boom, more boom, less boom. A little bit more than not fully up. I'm going to go with that. Let's see, fill light, fill light. No fill light. A little bit more here on the on the exposure, and that's what we're going to go with. I mean, I'm sure I could play with sh trying to sharpen it a little more. That's too much yellow. Let's get rid of that. I just want to tweak it slightly a little more. Uh, let's go with... Let's go with that right there. So that's where I'm going to stop that. So there is the black and white, nice and thick. There is the color. That's it. Let's see what Greg comes up with. I'm very interested to see this and then discuss what his feeling is or if he sees that it's out of focus. I'm sure he'll see it. So, Greg, you are up. So, it's time for another portrait. Very nice. Love the late afternoon sun. Uh, you get that really nice warm tone of this picture. Um, light coming in from the side, which is always nice, rather than coming in from above makes a big difference in this portrait um very nice very nice good choice of uh spot uh everything works everything works good composition exposure looks good uh except there's really no need to be at one thirty two hundredth of a second uh at iso 400 just bring your iso back down Drop your uh, shutter speed down, you know, a stop, ISO down a stop, and you're better off. You know, you avoid high ISO whenever possible, and this is one of those times when you definitely do not need high ISO. So uh, hopefully you weren't running that on automatic. So we, I guess we're, we're on an auto white balance, that would be my guess. So it's looking pretty good. Um, I'm really going to play around with this image. I, I don't know what to do with it yet. I want to do something different. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to play around. I kind of like that lower vibrance. Um, so it looks like with a lot of saturation. You know, that's kind of cool. Let's see. And let's bring our, uh, our clarity down to soften just a hair. Oh no, this is a reject photograph. This should have been deleted because it is out of focus. Anytime the eyes look like that, it is out of focus. Um, most likely this was a poor choice. You know what, now that I look around. Uh, yeah, her looks like her dress was in better focus. Or... The rocks behind here are in better focus. Uh, so this is probably a good example of a poor choice of a focus uh, point. Or maybe it was the person was using the uh, automatic setting on the D90 so that it automatically chooses your best point of focus. And this is that's the wrong thing to do, especially for a portrait. You always want the eyes to be in 100% sharp focus. And this is one of those times where it is definitely not. So um, hopefully we've, uh, well, uh, you know what? We'll keep beating that to death until all of you guys understand that. Um, ugh, such a great photo, but it's too bad that it's out of focus. This would have been a reject for me in a, in a second. Um, you know, I definitely wouldn't, wouldn't have kept that image. Uh, anyway, let's see what else we can do with it. I like that. That darkens it even a little bit more. Let's bring my exposure up just a hair. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. It's getting kind of soft. Go back to where we started. That's pretty neat. I like that. But let's go even more contrasty, I think, this week. Because I really want to push it. I don't know why, but I just have a feeling that I want to push it hard. Push real far on this one. 
and it looks like that original white balance was pretty accurate and I think I liked it. I'll go back to my see where it was. Yeah, I think I like that original white balance. Let's see what this does. No, 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 that's not good. <laughs> Sometimes that works, but not in this image. Um, I think I'm just going to leave it warm. But if we if we go up to daylight, it maybe warms it up a little bit too much. So maybe just come back down to 52. Yeah, I think that's good. I think I'm going to leave it right in there and see what happens. I love how contrasty it is. I've really pushed this shadow deep, which gets your eyes right into the mask of her face, which is what you want. Uh, it's really standing out now, whereas here you're seeing a lot more of the background and you're, you're a little more distracted. But when we really push that file, her face is really starting to jump out. Her hair is framing her face very nicely. Her pose is really good. It just leads your eye right up into her face. Um, yeah, I think I'm about done here. I'm not sure what else to do. Maybe try a little bit of, uh, oops, of a vignette. Not a lot. Not a lot, just a little. Touch, touch. Yeah, I think that's good. It's just a little bit to darken up those edges. Again, bring your eyes right into hers, right into the face. It's always a good thing. Um, I don't think there's anything else we want to do. We definitely don't want to split tone it. Uh, I think the saturation and vibrance is good. You know what? Let's go back and touch them. No. Too much. How about just vibrance? No, where it was. Yeah, I think that's good. The skin is nice and soft, although it's softer than I'd like to see it because the image was out of focus. Um... Yeah, I like it. I think this is about where I'm going to stay. Here is my... You know what? Let's do a... Uh, before, after here. That's not what I wanted. There you go. There's a before and an after. And um, I think you would agree. Hopefully you agree with me because this is where I'm staying. That it, it has brought your eyes into hers, and I think that makes a big difference. So uh, let's see how Jared did. How much you want to bet he went to black and white, and it's too contrasty? Huh? Somebody want to bet? Huh? 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 I don't know. We'll see. Ooh, I'm tired, Greg. How are you doing? I can't believe I'm more contrasty than you are. You're. I wouldn't call that contrast. I... I would call that like solarized, like nah. something to the over extreme again. Nope, nope, nope. Just draws your eyes right into her face. It does. Yep. It really just makes me think that I have way too thick sunglasses on that are way too dark. I don't know. I like it. You like it now? First thing I noticed when I zoomed in was that it wasn't sharp. Yep, me too. And that's unfortunate. Because it would have been a really nice portrait. I mean, it's still a nice image at this distance, but you and I know that when shooting, if it's not tack, we don't use it. Yeah, it's a reject. It doesn't even get shown to the client. Yeah, un unfortunately. There's nothing you can do that will make an out-of-focus picture in focus. As much as you want to try doing the sharpening, uh, I know there's softwares out there that tell you you could do something with it, but I mean, the only way you can mask out-of-focus image is to totally pull back on your clarity and make the image glow away into a soft mist of nothing, right? I would agree. And you're, you're no matter what software you use, it's always you're always going to lose something. You're always going to lose quality somewhere. And it's just what image editing is about. So yeah. Now now onto your onto your edit, Greg. Um, wow, is that color or is that just a yellow picture? 
What do you mean? Is that color? <laughs> or is that just orange? I actually uh, reduced the vibrance. And that's and what you, I mean. That's how, yeah, le left the white balance pretty much as is. Maybe I raised it a hair. You're leaving me scratching my head with this one, Greg. <laughs> I have no that's idea how you ended up with an edit like this. I don't know. Something different. I like it. I, li I wanted to push that afternoon, warm tone, something different, and I like it. I was going towards the towards the sepia, but then I ended up there, and I like it. Okay. I don't know who else is going to like it. <laughs> I'm sure people like will. It or not. I like it. That's well, all. About I mean, that is all that matters in art. Stop interrupting me, Jared. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I like it. That's all that matters. Hello. Can I speak now? Oh. <laughs> Hello, motor scooter. Anyway, <laughs> what are your um? What do you like about this composition? Well, number one, eyes are on the top third line. That's always a good thing. Uh, I like the fact that. Uh, the lighting is coming in from the right side, yep. and it's short lit. That means you have a shadow on the broad side of the face. Yep, I'm circling the, it. The, the side of the face that's facing the camera. Um, the, the sun is coming in from the side and not directly from the top. Bam, golden hour. Exactly. There's, you know, it has all of those things. It has all the, all the right pieces, um, and to be honest, I don't even mind the shadow that's produced behind her from that. I don't really. I mean, I notice it, but I don't notice it. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. No, I mean, it's 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 a well composed portrait. The background is really blown out. Uh, just what is a ninety millimeter? You think that's like a Tamron macro lens? Yeah, probably. All right. I mean, I mean, I would be interested to hear why the focus was missed. Well, it looks to me like it was. It's on uh, the rock. Either on the rock or on her dress there, it's, around her stomach or above her arm. Actually, it's even for if you go right in front of her fingers, there's a flower on her dress that is really sharp. Yeah, some somewhere in that area, it was it was perfectly sharp or real sharp. So most likely, they they just either didn't care about choosing the right focus point or well, they do, I wouldn't say that they didn't care. I'm sure they wanted automatic. You know, one or the well, other. Yeah. So let's just uh, quick. Quick tutorial here. Lock in on the eye. Constantly lock in, not in continuous focus. When you're doing a portrait like this, continuous, fo uh, continuous focus you shouldn't be in. You should be in single focus, locking in on the eye. And if she moves, you have to refocus. If you move, you have to refocus, especially shooting at 2.8 wide open. You, I mean, I. that's why I leave that beep on, Greg, because I want to hear the beep for when I, am when I am focusing to make sure that I am locked where I want to be locked. And I just keep... I keep looking and locking and re I you you hear my beep all the time, right? Yeah, we hear each other's beep all the time. Because it's all about keeping it locked and I'll recompose it like four or five times and you'll hear four or five beeps just because I want to get my focus right and and I'm always recomposing every time I move, every time I breathe because I want to get it right. Right on the eyes all the time, manually choosing that focus point, moving it around to be on the eyes, on the face. Yep. Obviously, if you're farther away, if it's a full body shot, it, the point's really going to be face. Yes. But if it's a shot like this, you know, you you can get a little closer to the eyes as far as the size of that point. Yeah. So all in all, you know, it's it's a well composed, well exposed image shot at. It looks like I think it's golden hour, which is either the first hour of the day or the last hour of the uh, well, the last hour of having light. Which is one of the best times to shoot, Greg. Those the the light is just so beautiful and so thick and contrasty and boomy right there. I would agree. The my only question as far as exposure is concerned is why one thirty two hundredth of a second at ISO four hundred? Yeah, I guess you could bring it down. Well, you, know, you could bring it down. That that camera did what one hundred? Uh, it did at least 200, maybe 100. Yeah, yeah you, why? That could have been brought down, but it's, it didn't hurt the image that much, Greg. No, not but, in this instance. But if you really want to get... 100. If you really want to get into it, they could have shot at, say, F3.5 and still blown the background out and had a better opportunity of keeping it sharp, you know, with that 3200, uh, 3200th of a second. Yep, but... Stick it to eight and just yeah. pick the right focus point and you're on. You're right. So, let's wrap it up. 
Uh, if you guys want to send your own portrait, because I like editing portraits. I think people like editing portraits. Uh, they kind of give people a little bit to play with and come up with different things, whether you want to crop this or do whatever you want to it. Send us some portraits, froknowsphoto at gmail.com. We try to get to as many as we can. There's still almost 400 or so sitting in that email box. So I do go through, find the ones we want to do and edit, and we do that. So... This is week 14. You're going to get a DNG file this week because now I'll be converting them to DNG so anybody can open them. Uh, all the other programs open DNGs, right, Greg? Uh, yeah, I even tried uh, CS3 on my old laptop and opened this file just fine. Awesome. So, yeah, now you'll have a DNG from here on out so you don't have to have the latest and greatest firmware. Let's see what you do with this photo. How would you make it sharper? Would you attempt to make it sharper? Would you crop it? Go black and white. Do whatever Greg did. Uh, do what I did with the black and white or color. Just nothing. Hey, I made it look real, bro. Oh, come on. That's what I said last year, last week, and it, and you uh, complained at me about it. Give me a break. You can't have it both ways, buddy. I heard you like it both ways. Anyway. <laughs> you know what we need? What? We need, we need a really good portrait of Lil. I'll put up the, the portrait I took of her with the T a long while ago. We, yeah, we gotta, we got to do a portrait of Lil and... Uh, do, uh, put one of those up. That'll be a good one. Then everybody has it. All right. Start, try it out. So that, we'll do one, that one one of these All days. All right. We'll set one of those up here. So anyway, let's see what you guys can do with this file. Don't forget, this was, this is in the forum. So if you haven't joined the forum yet, it's really, really easy. If you have a Facebook page or a Twitter account, you can now Facebook connect and Twitter connect into the forum to get yourself registered and join the conversation, and get the ability to download this file and the 13 others before it. Greg, thank you. Thank you. We'll talk to you next week. Yeah, well, I'll talk to you before next another week. Another raw file of the week. Yeah, when we do another raw file. So, that's it. Good luck. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.